Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. May the abundant grace of God and His heavenly glory overshadow each and every one of you. Today's gospel challenges us to examine the sincerity of our faith and ensure that our external practices are deeply rooted in our hearts. Let me share a humorous yet insightful story. A parish priest once visited his parishioners' homes unannounced. At one house, no one came to the door despite someone being home. The priest left a note with Revelation 3.20 written on it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. The following Sunday, the card was returned in the collection basket. Below the priest message was written Genesis 3.10 I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked so I hid. <laughs> this joke reveals the deeper truth. We often hide when our faith should be visible. Why we, we may attend church and engage in community activities in daily life, we sometimes shy away from truly living our faith due to fear, complacency, or feeling unprepared. So today, let us ask ourselves, is our faith merely a facade or is it the genuine expression of our host commitments to God? Here in Houston, we see examples of genuine faith in action. Think of the volunteers at the Houston Food Bank, especially during our scorching summers or after hurricanes. Their dedication isn't about being seen or praised. It is a reflection of hearts full of love for God and neighbor. In our own, in our own parish, we have teachers who go above and beyond for their students, families who open their homes to those in need, and individuals who quietly perform acts of kindness every day. These everyday stands embody what it means to live faith authentically. Living our faith authentically doesn't always require grand gestures. Often, it is small, everyday moments that we truly reflect Christ's love. Offering, offering a kind word to a stressed co-worker, showing patience in heavy traffic, or helping an elderly neighbor with grocery in the Houston heat. These small acts of kindness can transform our community. As we receive the Eucharist today, let's remember that this sacrament is the real encounter with Christ himself. It's a source of strength for living, for living out our faith authentically. When we approach the altar, we are being transformed to be Christ's hands and feet in the world. Many of you may have participated in our diocese Corpus Christi procession through downtown Houston. C 
300 of people walking behind the blessed sacrament reminds us that our faith is meant to be lived out in the open, not hidden away. As we leave this show today and head back into our vibrant city, let's carry the light of Christ with us. Whether we are stuck in traffic on the 610, cheering on the Astros at Minute May Park, or simply going about our routines, let's allow our authentic faith to shine through. Imagine the impact we could have if each of us committed to one act of genuine love or service this week. It could be as simple as checking on, uh, checking on an elderly neighbor during these hot summer days. A quick visit, a phone call could be a lifeline for someone struggling with high temperatures. Considering volunteer at one of the many charitable organizations, you might spend a few hours at the Houston Food Bank sorting donations or packing meals for families in need. Even within our parish, there are countless ways to make a difference. You could join our food pantry of St. Vincent the Post Society, reaching out to brothers and sisters in need. Or perhaps you could join the new ministry of Teresa to help the elderly in our community. Or perhaps you could help with our youth ministry programs, sharing your faith with the next generation. Ultimately, you might think about joining to form a church choir, using your voice to enrich worship and uplift others through songs. Even staying up the mass to help tidy up can be powerful act of service. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about allowing God's love to work through us, even in our imperfections. As we step out into the heat today, let's do so with hearts on fire for Christ, ready to transform our community, one authentic act of faith at a time.